time for a little update on the aquaponics system. So, as you can see, it has expanded a little bit. I've added uh, two new grow beds, uh, made them out of those Rubbermaid tubs. I just planted these, uh, these lettuce plants today, and it's uh, really easy to work with. You just kind of dig in, and then plant the plant, and then bury it into the gravel. Um, I got a tomato plant here growing. No tomatoes yet. Also got a couple more tomato plants over there in the other grow bed. Um, here's this one. Haven't really put too many plants. Just got some basil plants from the garden in here. Doing well. Um, a little papaya tree going there. Um, some various spinach and arugula. Um, this is our little carrot patch right here. Let's see if we can check one of these guys out. Here we go. That one's looking pretty good. So I planted those a few weeks ago. Some more basil over here. And some spinach plants. These went in about a week ago and they're, they have doubled in size since then. So yeah, it's going really well. And one of the biggest additions since the last time is uh, some friends down in the water. It's pretty loud, it's draining. The, uh, the main grow bed here is draining right now. Uh, the water pump is down here in the corner, it pumps it up. Some of it goes over here into this grow bed, and some of it goes into here. And then some of it goes off to the scrub bed. And those also uh, have an auto siphon or a bell siphon, which uh, the water fills up to about an inch below the surface and then drains and does that every five or ten minutes again. Um, the whole system draws very little power. Um, I'm hopefully going to uh, install a, a solar panel and just one solar panel should be able to, to power the water pump and that's really the only input it needs um, well of course fish food it needs some fish food as input um, which I'll show you how I've been feeding the fish come over here to this uh, log in our garden just flip it up and look Fish food. There's plenty more in here, but you get the idea. So bring these guys over. You can see that, but basically all the slugs were eaten before they hit the bottom of the tank. So these guys are hungry today. No, to the earthworms. Actually, don't feed him to the fish. He's going to go into the grow bed. And I've already got probably 50 or so other worms in there. They're both uh, these earthworms and also some red wrigglers. So that's how I feed the fish. I also have some uh, some store-bought fish food, um, just in case I can't find any slugs or, or just to kind of supplement their diet a little bit. We have the rain gutter redirected to this barrel. And uh, it looks rainwater. Actually, uh, this house doesn't have a faucet in the backyard, so the rainwater is generally what it used for most water needs. 
here's like the really nerdy part. <laughs> you gotta every once in a while measure the chemical levels. So I'll take a look here. This is ammonia. Ammonia comes from the fish urinating in the water and actually is necessary for the, uh, for the system, for the ecosystem to work. And that's looking, geez, there's hardly any ammonia in there. All right, that's okay. And then uh, that ammonia is converted by bacteria in the grow beds to nitrite first, and then nitrate. And that nitrate is used by the plants. And also the, the plants and the grow beds filter the water uh, before it comes back into the fish tank. So there's no cleaning required. It's a self cleaning and self-contained little life cycle. So there you have it. We'll check in soon and see how all these plants are doing. I think they'll be a lot bigger.